And before we go too far, I know we got invited, but tell everybody what's happening uh, on Saturday. Well, actually, I would be, uh, I would be getting married on Saturday. Uh, Also, too, like to uh, say before I get uh, say anything else is that I think the book that uh, uh, Mrs. Alexander wrote is a, a very powerful book, and I think one of the things that uh, would certainly help you is that if people out here that if you know somebody in prison, or you even if you don't know somebody in prison, if you could get that book inside, it's uh, because I mean it would really help because what happens is that the people that's locked up. We don't have nothing but a lot of time to think, and these are the people that's been out in the streets and committing the crimes, and that's why a lot of them are in prison. And uh, I think that if you get this book in their hands, it certainly it certainly will change people's mind and uh, thoughts about how they should, could and should be acting in the community. So that would be one immediate thing that you can do. Uh, the other thing is that when you talk about what actually landed me in prison for 28 years is that uh, in part, what uh, she talks about in the book is that in 1985, in the city of Memphis, where I stood trial at, I was actually convicted by an all-white jury when the population was, I think, over 50% black. So when you talk about racism and how the system is geared toward ensnaring certain people, but then that would be an example of it, aside from the unscrupulous prosecutors that worked on my case, that lied and falsified and fabricated evidence to actually convict me that uh, these, I mean, it, this is part of what, I mean, when you talk about the racism that's in the system, this is part of it, and I was certainly a victim of that, and, uh, and I would just say, I would also too relate that prior to my being released, I was actually down in Memphis, in the Memphis County Jail for about five weeks. And when I first went down there, I was actually complaining about being there because the conditions are so bad. But after, shortly after being there, I realized that I really needed to be there to see what was really going on in this real raw way. Related even to when you talk about how this new Jim Crow and how it relates to just historical slavery and the whole thing is because while I was down there, the way the jail is set up, they have this long tunnel under the jail that they shuffle people, hundreds of guys through every day back and forth to court. And while I was down there going back and forth to court, I was reminded in some ways about how people, how slaves must have felt as they was in chains, because many of the guys was in chains being shuffled down this long tunnel, and at the end of the tunnel, all these different holding cells, and based on your charge or uh, the, the type of jumpsuit that, jumpsuit that you was actually wearing, well then you was directed to a certain cell. And so uh, uh, I think that, that, like I said, that it's really important, I mean, the ed educating uh, the public about what's going on, but uh, uh, I think it's even more important is trying to get that information inside to where a lot of these guys are actually sitting and have an opportunity to sit down and read because in spite of what I think the public and people really believe is that a lot of guys in prison really are reading. Uh, and uh, most of the time, or a lot of the time, I should say, they're reading the wrong things. But if you got the right material in there, uh, I think they will read it. And uh, I think that that's part, that's part of what needs to be done.